so much for joining me oh, today on Paper Zebra. I am so happy to be here talking about all this stuff, but what was all the zebra stuff about? So, in the title I mentioned uh, the medical zebra. So what is a medical zebra? Well, many years ago, there was a doctor on the first day with his interns who came up with an expression to that was when you hear hoofbeats, think horses, not zebras. Meaning, you know, look to the most common before looking to the most rare when di diagnosing their patients. And of course, that's understandable. You know, you don't want to jump right to the most rare, bizarre things when someone's there for, you know, the common cold or something like that. But we've come up with something, those of us with rare diseases, especially those with uh, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, because we adopted the zebra for our ribbon, just like breast cancer uses the pink ribbon, you know, for awareness, we use the zebra ribbon uh, for awareness. And we have the saying, sometimes you, if you hear, or sometimes when you hear hoofbeats, it's zebras. We're here. It is rare. Sometimes it is rare. Sometimes when someone comes into your office and presents with all these different things at one time, it actually is real. But here's the thing. Here's why this matters so much, especially with EDS, because EDS isn't actually all that rare. About 10 years ago, so when I'm filming this right now, it's January of 2021. So about, okay, well, that'll. 10, 11 years ago, when I started going to conferences and when it was um, Ehlers-Danlos National Foundation and they were having conferences every year and stuff, the uh, ratio of people having EDS was about one and I think they would say one in 15 to one in 10,000 people had EDS. That was their best um, estimate. And now they're saying, and I went on, just yesterday, I went on the Ellers Danlos Society website, as it's now called, and checked the ratio, and it is one in 2,500 to one in 5,000 people that actually have Ellers Danlos Syndrome. That's not rare, that's not that rare at all. What is rare is getting diagnosed. That's what is rare. That's what is difficult and challenging for everybody with a rare condition. Here's the biggest opposition we usually face, and I'm sure most of you can agree with me on this. And please leave a comment below of what maybe your biggest struggle has been so far. So we all have, you know, ways of knowing that we're not alone in this. I think most people's biggest struggle is finding a doctor that is willing to do a test, suggest a specialist, uh, willing to just listen to the laundry list of things we have going on at one time. Um, it's just willing to take that next step into helping us figure out what on earth is going on in our bodies when we have all these things going haywire at one time. Because EDS is affects our collagen. Collagen is in every cell of our body. It can, can affect every system of our body. And that can be affected at all at once, you know? It might be, or it can be, you know, your GI tract is giving you a horrible time today, your joints are giving you a horrible time every day, you know, your headaches, I wake up with a headache every single solitary morning. I have for the last, uh, what, five, five, six years, I think, every single solitary morning I wake up with a headache. Um, you know, for a while they were migraine level, they've calmed down a little bit, uh, thank goodness why this matters so much is or why this is so great i'm not a big animal print person i'm not one to wear like leopard print cheetah print giraffe print you know I, i'm not a big animal print wearer but what i love about us having a ribbon or a zebra print thing is that you can find this out and about. You can find zebras, and anytime you see a zebra thing anywhere, 
you immediately, once you know that it's EDS or rare disease linked to it in any way, people think about it. It does raise awareness. It does work. I tell people all the time, whenever I bring it up, whenever I say that zebra is the ribbon, I make sure I tell them, see, whenever you see zebra, you're never going to be able to, uh, or you're always going to think about it being EDS, or you're always going to think ehlers -Danlos. you know, it's, it goes hand in hand, and that's a great way to raise awareness. It just works. It just works. All right, so, so what I did was I was curious to see how, uh, or what other people thought about medical zebra, or the zebra zebra ribbon and medical, you know, what they thought about it. If people have written about it, um, just what they thought about zebras. So I went on the Mighty and some forums and I just put in the search, medical zebra. And what I found was, I, I saw some articles and some things people wrote, some posts people put, and there were a couple things that came up a lot. And one of the most common ones was that people wished doctors considered that zebras do exist, that we are real, that we do have all these things, we can have all of these things going on with us, um, or at least help us get to it that much faster, you know, or get to that conclusion a little bit faster, you know, uh, that's what I saw quite a bit. Also, um, that we deserve to be believed that those of us with rare conditions deserve to be believed, especially in cases with pain, where pain is involved. That I saw over and over again because, you know, I think a lot of people that don't experience pain, aren't used to it, other than an injury here or there, don't realize how, it, how consuming it can be every single day, that people really can have it full body every single day. I don't think they really believe or know that that is possible, that it's true. It can happen. It does happen, you know, to people every day. Now, on the positive note, it wasn't all negative, so this was interesting. I saw um, some positive things where, um, from doctors, that even though there, there's one in particular, but I, I did see similar things posted, but there was one doctor in particular that said, even though his zebra patient made him nervous it when they came in because you know he didn't know what he was going to find or what they were going to have to research or look into or what was go what would have happened with this patient or anything it made him step up his game it made him work harder it made him do research it made him feel like he was really being an involved maybe even better doctor because he had to really step up and improve that communication especially with the parents of children with EDS. I mean, you talk about mama bears, you know, mothers <laughs> protecting their children, being advocates for their children. You take parents of children that have pain on a regular basis and put them in front of a doctor that doesn't believe them, watch out. I would not want to be in that room. You know, that's... Um, that would scare me a little bit. So those are the kind of things that I saw come up quite a bit about the uh, medical zebra. So really, it's just that symbol, just like you know the pink ribbon for breast cancer. It's just that symbol to help spread awareness. And it's wonderful because zebra print, because it's not as common of a thing, it really does help get into people's heads. So once they know that it is related to Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome or rare disease, that whenever they see zebra print anywhere, they associate it with EDS or rare disease. It really does work. So tell people, wear it, put pins on your things, stickers, lights, you know, on my uh, rollator walker, I put a zebra cover on the seat and the, and the back bar. Um, you know, I wear stuff with zebra, I wear stuff every once in a while with zebra. Um, my <laughs> the bathrobe and the hat and the gloves and the scarf and things like that. People give me zebras. This is um, the zebra. The people that the students 
that were in the physical therapy class where I did the speech at University of Maryland Eastern Shore. They sent me this with a thank you card for, um, and they all signed it and wrote wonderful things to me for the speech that I gave to them about what it's like living with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and, and how they can work with us in physical therapy um, and really form that relationship. Um, and about that actually, um, uh, that speech that I have posted on here about, uh, about that, about what it's really like for us living with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I know it's long. Um, it's, uh, what, an hour and 20 minutes or something like that. Please, if you have not already done so, please watch it. You don't have to do it in one sitting. You know, watch a little bit of it, come back to it another time when you have, you know, a few minutes here and there. Please watch it. It is chock full of so much information. My own mother told me, she said, Molly, I know about EDS and I know about your EDS and I learned so much more than I knew. So, and I've had a lot of people tell me that. I met a girl, a, few, a woman, excuse me, a few days ago um, that uh, works uh, with someone with my husband, like knows a few people, you know, steps away from my husband and um, got in contact with me and she said she watched the speech and she said she felt like she was hearing her story, that I said exactly what she's wanted to say, what she has gone through, is going through, and that is exactly why we do this, isn't it? This is exactly what we need, people who understand what on earth we're going through. Uh, so that's why I ask to, you know, when you leave comments, you know, it's wonderful, read each other's comments because it, it's what helps us feel like we're not alone in this, like we're not going through this by ourselves. We can't. We cannot go through this by ourselves at all. Uh, that's why I'm doing this, because I've been going through this for so long. I've been doing this for 30 years. You know, from the first time I saw an orthopedic surgeon at 15 to now, it's been 30 years. And I've learned a lot, you know, and most of it on my own before there was internet and Google and all that stuff where I could search it and doctors who knew what on earth they were talking about and, and stuff. So really, it's it's a pleasure to me to be able to talk with people and think, tell them what I've learned through trial and error and, and be there for people who are just going through the diagnosis process and, and trying to figure out how to talk to doctors and how to talk to friends and family who don't believe them and um, are trying to get disability. You know, I, I have done a video on that um, and I can do, certainly I can do more. Um, you know, that was from a few years ago. I can certainly do more on that. It's just, it's so important that, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm so passionate about just helping people get through this because it is possible. Um, it's really, it's possible to be there for each other and to support each other and get through even the really hard days and just to accept, hey, we're gonna have really hard days, they're gonna happen, and then I'll have some okay days. When I have some okay days, do the things you love. When you feel okay, do the things you love to do and know that there's gonna be some hard days, there's gonna be some great days, and it's just, you're gonna ebb and flow, you're gonna ebb and flow, and that's okay. We can handle it. We are the toughest people on the planet. We are the best actresses and actors, and we can handle it. We're tough, but we need each other. All right, so there's my complete uh, going off on a tangent rant there. So thank you for joining me. Please join me here uh, whenever you can, and take care. Gentle hugs, everybody.